Hi, it's me, Juice. So today I want to talk about how I learned Japanese. I started learning Japanese in my senior year of high school in 2012 when I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my life. And I thought, why don't I just try learning Japanese and see what I can do with that. Um, so I first started by learning the Japanese uh, syllable writing systems, hiragana and katakana by writing them over and over again. I used a game called My Japanese Coach and it grades you on how well you write and remember the hiragana and katakana characters. So I kept doing that over and over until I was able to read them comfortably. Um, I don't know if that game's a good recommendation, but it worked for me. I also use, I also just use basic paper, writing the Kiragon and Katakana characters 50 times on a notebook. Um, by just doing like an hour a day, because I'm lazy, it took me about a month to remember them and be able to read them comfortably. And then once you got uh, Hiragana and Katakana down and you remember it very well, then you can move on to Kanji and uh, Vocabulary. So Kanji and Vocabulary are two separate things. Um, kanji is kind of like concepts made up of smaller particles that are more abstract concepts and vocabulary is kind of taking the kanji and giving them more of a meaning and and there's a program for remembering uh, kanji and vocabulary I used Anki, it's a spaced repetition system of flashcards you just you look at a vocabulary word and then you press show answer and you click on how well you remember it and based on how you answer it'll show it to you again in a shorter amount of time or a longer amount of time based on your answer and it's built around in a way so you remember it in your so you remember it well what i tried to do was uh, remember all of the joyo kanji it's around 2,000 kanji that are used um, most commonly uh, by remembering the individual meanings of each kanji, which didn't really help very much. I wouldn't recommend for someone to do that. What I would recommend, what I would have liked to, what would have been better to do is. If I just studied vocabulary, words, like combinations of kanji instead of them each by themselves. So when you're learning a vocabulary word, it'd be best to it'd be best to learn what the individual meanings of the kanji is while you're learning that specific word. That way you know exactly what it what the word is. Kind of like learning what prefixes and suffixes are in English. And then once I learned up to JLPT N3, uh, JLPT N is a it's an abbreviation for Japanese Language Proficiency Test, which measures how much of the Japanese language you comprehend. Uh, I went up to JLPT N3, which covers most basic words that most people know in order to read Japanese well. I stopped there because I got bored of doing the whole flashcard thing over and over. And instead I uh and instead I just decided to play video games and look up words and on my phone with an app. But then once you move on from learning enough vocabulary that you're comfortable enough to read, you can move on to grammar, which 
I think is very important because if you learn enough grammar, then you can you can just basically read anything and look up the rest of the words, and then you'll be f fine. And you'll basically be able to understand anything as long as you can look up words. Mm. I learned grammar with a book called Japanese the Mango Way. I recommend this book instead of Genki, like everyone else, unlike everyone else, because Genki is more classroom oriented and isn't. I didn't find it very well to learn it by yourself. But Japanese the Manga Way, you can easily read through it in a couple of sittings, and you'll be very, and you'll be pretty comfortable in reading grammar. It covers lessons very well with lots of manga pictures. They're pretty old, but the information is very useful. The manga pictures are pretty old, but the information is very useful. And when learning kanji, you wanna. When learning kanji, what I did was, and when learning kanji, what I did was I wrote a whole bunch of kanji characters on graph paper over and over um, when I'm studying them, so they get. So I remember, so I remember the the characters more better that way. And so the way you look up words is, I think a good way is with an app on either iOS or Android. Uh, in iOS, there's a free app called, uh, there's a free dictionary app on iOS. It's called, it's just called Japanese. It's by Renzo Incorporated. That's a good way to look it up. I don't know any Android ones, but I'm sure there's a lot of free ones out there. You can just handwrite out the kanji in your phone and then it'll show you what the word is. The word probably is. It gives you selection because it's not 100% accurate. I recommend learning stroke order when learning vocabulary in order to in order to look up the words a lot easier. I've been wondering about uh, making my channel a bit more... I've been wondering how I could make my channel a bit more different from other... Uh, from other gameplay channels. Maybe I, I was thinking of... Maybe I could help people learn... I could help people learn Japanese with my videos. Like explaining grammar, explaining grammar lessons while reading Japanese video games. If anyone's interested, you. Can, if anyone's interested in that kind of thing, then give me a comment. And if anyone's interested in that kind of thing, then give me a comment, and I'll see what I can do. Anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching.